Hi, this is Cody with Platform 9, and today we're going to be talking about migrating your VMware virtual machine workloads over to a KVM OpenStack environment. Okay, so in this environment we have a handful of VMs, right? I have uh, some WordPress boxes up and running, so these ha are simulating the web, app, and database in each one of these, right? So we have Web01, Web02, so on and so forth, all the way over to Web09. Um, so I'm going to show you what those look like inside of VMware here. Um, Right? It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, Web01 uh, through Web09. Okay, so the goal is to get these over to our KVM environment, where we have no instances here. We do have a host up and running uh, for KVM. This is uh, running with OpenStack. Um, and, and so um, we've done the basic installation of this. We don't have any uh, hosts up and running. Uh, we have created a network. Right, This is the same physical net that we're going to be bringing from VMware over here. Um, so that's the only thing we've created so far is this network as well as a subnet on this network, right? Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get this done and see if we can migrate some of these VMs from VMware over to KVM. So I'm going to jump into my command line utility, right? And I'm going to run the um, platform 9 migrate command. Um, so we're going to migrate web01. Now I've already configured um, a config file with how to connect to vCenter. Um, it, with credentials and all of that, right? So I'm just going to simply kick off Migrate Web01. Um, and you can see it's checking into vCenter, um, and it actually found the IP address, the MAC address, and it powered off Web01. So if we flip over here, yep, you can see right here that power off operation has just happened. Um, so it powered off that machine, and this machine's going to automatically be um, converted into a um, KVM QCOW2 image and be brought into KVM, and then we'll register that with OpenStack. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes worth of time, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video um, so that uh, when I'm done talking right now, we should be in a place where we can uh, continue doing this. Okay, the VM is nice and converted now. Let's flip over to the um, OpenStack environment, and hey, we have a web server here. Um, it has come up with the uh, 192.168.170.191. Um, and it also has the exact same MAC address that it had before, right? So we got we kept the IP address, we kept the MAC address, we've attached it to that physical network. And if I go over here and I do a hold a shift and refresh, this web server is up and running. Um, we can go over here and we can jump into the console now, right? So this is the the power of OpenStack is giving self service access to the console um, to your users. So I can go ahead and log into this, and uh, we're in good shape. Um, so we're able to migrate that uh, machine and uh, you can see that uh, I know I, I edited the video a bit um, to cut down on the time but it took 586 seconds right so that's that uh, overall time here 586 seconds from saying hey I want to migrate this thing it went over here inside of VMware and powered that machine off it then uh, converted it copied it over the wire um, and then we did a couple other other things to it. We detached the, its old NIC and recreated a, a new uh, NIC for the new network uh, that it needed. Um, and we've actually mounted the guest file system and made some modifications inside of it because the drivers have changed between VMware and KVM. So the network name is now named differently. So we were able to mount that guest file system and, and fix that uh, network mapping and all of that. Right, So um, we actually have, once it's over in the KVM side, we can do, um, we, we can ch root ourselves inside that environment and do the, um, all the automation that's needed um, to convert a system from VMware to KVM. Right, so um, we got this up and running, we're in good shape now, and uh, if I choose so, I can go ahead and delete that virtual machine now inside of VMware. So that's all for today. I'm going to be making a few more videos, maybe a, a, a batch version of this where I'm migrating all nine web servers, um, probably three at a time, um, and, uh, and whatnot. So stay tuned for those videos, and uh, thank you very much.